Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. Report number 59537, Class Bravo. Year 2018, State, Florida. Observed. We were driving up 73rd Avenue East in Mayaca City, Florida. The road has been used infrequently due to the recent storms. As we were passing east at Long Creek, I looked to the left and saw what looked like a pile of dark Spanish moss-looking grass. I thought to myself that it was odd to see a large pile of soggy grass and moss that was oddly shaped so symmetrically. Then I saw that it was a creature standing trying not to be seen and as still as can be. I couldn't speak. I couldn't process what I was seeing and then the words left my mouth. Honey, I said to my husband, I just saw a Sasquatch by the side of the road crouching down. He could tell by the look on my face that I had, in fact, seen something. I still can't believe it. I'm chuckling nervously talking about it. Unbelievable. It was a dark mound of crouched flesh and soggy hair. I could not see its face, just the pointed head and massive shoulders. The fence is four and a half feet tall, and it was another three feet higher and just as wide. No one is ever going to believe me, but I just had to report it. Also noticed, strange calls have been heard in the night by the previous resident. Other witnesses, my husband was driving, but he did not see it as I could not speak. Other stories, there have been sightings of a skunk ape in the area for years. Time and conditions, it was 6.45 p.m. The weather was clear, no rain, and still light. Environment, creek bottom with heavy foliage and very wet due to the recent rains. Wet and swampy. There is a potato field nearby with rotting potatoes and watermelons from the nearby farm. Follow-up investigation report by BFRO investigator R. Monteith. This couple was driving east on 73rd Avenue East, having turned off Wachula Road in Mayaka City. 73rd Avenue East is a private dirt road. The sky was overcast. It had rained earlier in the morning. Three days earlier, subtropical storm Alberto had just churned up the Gulf Coast of Florida and had left the Mayaka River at flood stage overflowing into the wetlands and low-lying areas. The road the couple was traveling and surrounding area was flooded. Just before where the road crosses Long Creek, the woman noticed a large, shaggy, human-like shape on the north side standing just behind the fence line. She lives nearby and travels the road daily and knew it wasn't something that had been there in the past. Shaken by the size and possibility of what it could be, she told her husband to turn around because she had just seen a Sasquatch. Her husband said she displayed shock and alarm when she stated that. He promptly turned the car around. When they returned to the spot she had seen the figure, it was no longer there. Although the road was flooded, this happened to be a higher and dry spot. They stopped the car and was able to find what they believed are two footprints about 50 feet from where the figure had been. In one photo, the woman had stepped on a print before realizing it. The prints seemed to indicate the creature went west towards the watershed along the road once the car passed and probably back into the tree line. The floodwaters have caused a nearby field of potatoes to rot. The rotting potatoes are all that could be smelled. The woman described the figure as dark ash brown in color. At first she thought it was covered in moss, but realized it looked shaggy and matted because the three to four inch hair was wet. It was standing still facing the road with arms by its side on the other side of the fence. She could not see facial features, but noticed the head was pointy and the shoulders were very broad compared to its hips. It stood about three feet above the fence, which was later measured to be five feet high. 
Standing still as if to look like a stump when humans are nearby has been reported many times. This unusual daylight sighting could be speculated on happening because of the strange events at the time. The atmospheric conditions from the tropical storm were very unstable as rain and wind continued in the area. The flood stage could have had the Sasquatch trying to find dry ground. The private road has little traffic, especially since only trucks could make it through the water so there was less chance of being seen. The rotting potatoes could be smelled from quite a distance. The area surrounding this sighting is very welcoming to Sasquatch. There are many farms growing potatoes, watermelons, citrus as well as raising livestock. The nearby creek offers fish and aquatic creatures for consumption. Interestingly, there is a lemur breeding reserve nearby that has planted mango, passion fruit, guava, grapes, banana, persimmon, and bamboo to feed their 50 lemurs. Although there are many acres of farmland, there is also plenty of tree cover for concealment. Sasquatch has been known to follow creeks, canals, and rivers, and this sighting was next to Long Creek. Long Creek runs into the upper Mayaka River watershed, which eventually runs into Mayaka State Park, where there have been many oh, sightings. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help.